first and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shai, Bahasim, Akwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. To move well, I'm going to learn it 100% truthful. This is for the hopes of that which I just said, God, there goes my team, some Native Americans, also the speckled ferns that scatter across the four corners of the earth. This word resonates with you. Then your lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the, the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. I'm going to start off with uh, this read. You know, I put up on Wikipedia concerning uh, the food crisis. And it reads, uh, 2022-2023 food crisis. Increasing food prices and shortages throughout the world. 2022 saw a rapid increase in food prices and shortages of food supplies around the world. The compounding crisis in distinct parts of the world are caused by compounding geopolitical and economic crisis. The crisis followed food security and economic crisis during the pandemic. Okay, it's going down. Following the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Food and Agricultural Organization, as well as other observers of the food commodities market, warned of a collapse in food supply and price increase. Much of the concerns related to the supply shortages of key commodity crops, such as wheat, maize, and oil seeds, which could cause prices and price increases. The invasion also led to fuel and associated fertilizer price increases, causing further food shortfalls and price increases. And with that right there, you know, these different, you know, these states had a, had a law to give you extra on the SNAP benefit cards, you know, to, to, to lessen the pain of inflation, you know, and then mostly geared to the women that get these SNAP benefits. Now they done. Uh, start giving you that extra, so it's going to be extra hard for you to get the meals that you're used to getting, you know. And I always say, you know, and this is true, even the poor here, back in the day, was doing better than the poor people in the other countries, these third world countries. But see, those days are coming to an end, you know, and reality is about to sit in for, for you, Jake, that thought that, uh, well, they've been spoiled by this wicked system, which is run by so-called white man, which is biblical name is Esau Edom, you know. The earth is given over to the hand of the wicked. You know, roughly paraphrasing, but it's in Job 9, 24. Let me see. Let me finish reading. Even before the invasion, food prices were already at record highs. That's a February 2022 Year over year, food prices were up 20%, according to the Food and Agricultural Organization. The war further increased year over year prices among another 40% in March. The compounding issues, including the Russian invasion of Ukraine, as well as the climate related crop failures. Climate related crop failures, yeah, that's because who bought up all the farms? You gotta look at that. Who bought up all of the farms? And why? You know? You gotta look at all of these things. All right? Now they're making, they're making lab meat, you know? They're eating things defiled, you know? Finish reading. Compounding issues included the Russian invasion of Ukraine as well as climate-related crop failures. I expected to reverse global trends and reducing hunger and malnutrition. Some regions, such as East Africa and Madagascar, were already experiencing drought and famine due to agricultural system failures and climate change. And the price increases I expected to make the situation worse, even in global north countries that usually have secure food supplies such as the United Kingdom and the United States are beginning to experience the 
direct impacts of cost inflation due to food insecurity. Some analysts describe the price increases as the worst since 2007, 2007 to 2008 world food uh, crisis. Okay. I'm not going to read it anymore. You can get all this information. You pull it up. But all of these things are happening. Why? Because of the homicides and the homicide. This place is going down. Regardless, you know, with the weather and everything else, regardless of uh, Esau Edom, so called white man, and created these, uh, he didn't weaponize the, the water, he didn't weaponize the air. Those chemtrails, he have rep weaponized the food, the clothes, you know, but all, even the weapons that he created, everything was given to him by the Holocaust and the Holocaust, you know, and he's been proud with it. And he knows these scriptures, you know, he knows that he, he his, his, his rulership is leaving him, you know, so that's... That's why everything is going this way, because it was prophesied. These things were written, you know, before this was created, all right? And he knows this. That's why we get the word out so you can know. And then you teach what you know. And you warn the people. Warn the people that this place is getting ready to change rulership from the wicked to the righteous. It's going to be a righteous kingdom. The homicides be claiming the world which he made. You know what I'm saying? Through the blueprint of Yah in the, the Most High Yahweh. And the elect 144. Thousand men, the rule, the the, the, the the ruling judges, twelve thousand from each tribe, the Israelites, the elect, other elect, right, gonna be under Yahweh side, King David. This world is getting ready to change, but you got to get this information and prepare yourselves for the time that's coming, okay? It's not going to be pretty. A kingdom that's, that's always taken down is going to be taken down in violence. It's going to be taken down, this whole kingdom, queendom rather. All right, so let's go to uh, the book of Job. So five and nineteen verse. He shall deliver thee at six troubles, yeah, and seven, there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. To be in the NLT, verse 19. From six disasters he shall rescue you, even in the seventh. He will keep you from evil. Verse 20. He will save you from death in time of famine, from the power of the sword in time of war. And all these things is coming. It's coming, as you know. Again, the, the uh, SNAP benefits, you don't get that extra no more. It's not going to be no more Social Security. It's not going to be nothing that Jake been relying on for years and years. You know, all these things are about to be cut. You know, they're about to be cut. You know, it's going to be a lot of turmoil coming. But you got to be prepared for it in your mind. You know, 
go to the book of Sukkot, Ecclesiasticus. Uh, in Apocrypha. That would be uh, second chapter in the tenth verse, and it reads, "For the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiving sins, and save it in time of affliction." All right. So, the mercy. Of this is that uh, he gave you the eyes out to see what's happening and what's going on. You know, through the apostles and others, great millstone on down. It's teaching you to break down to the scriptures. It's teaching you everything you need to know to withstand the wiles of the devil and everything that's coming, you know. So that's what's happening. You know, that's showing that mercy because you could have been out in this darkness not knowing like you see everybody else. But he gave you that eyes out to see. So what you do with it, whatever you've been taught, you teach. Is that something? And to the best of your ability. You know. Because that's the only way you're going to get out of here is through the work, you know. It's through the work, you know. Teach what you've been taught. Warn the people. You know. Because you got a lot to talk for. We all do. You know, we're trying to keep the blood off our hands. We try to make it out of here, you know. We want those new bodies. We want the rulership. That you know, the share in the rulership. We want the righteous kingdom. Okay. First Kings. And two, and the word of the Lord, I said in all caps, that means the Lord in all caps, that's the name of the Most High. And his name means he is, he to be, he exists. I mean, the only begotten son's name is Yahweh. His name means he's savior, he's the deliverer. Right? First Kings 17, second verse, in the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto him saying, Get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook of Jared. That is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord Yahweh. But he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and fish, bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came to him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongs to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering up sticks, and he called her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. And she said, As the Lord Yahweh, thy power liveth, I have not a cake, but a half full of meal in a barrel, a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it, 
for me and my son that we may eat, eat it and die. And she said that because she didn't have uh, enough to eat, you know, going through it. I'll be going through it today. It's gonna, it will, it's gonna get worse. I only had enough, and that wasn't enough to, to really feed her and her child. So she had no hope. You know. But see how your how about your house that work? You know. She did what the prophet said. She had more than enough. She had more than enough, and also the elect. He's not gonna let you starve out here, all right. And Elijah said unto her, "Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me therefore a little cake first, and bring it to me, and after make for thee and for thy son." For thus said the Lord Jehovah. Power of Israel, the barrel of meal, shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord Yahweh should have ran upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and said, and, and she and he in her house did eat many days, and the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail, or according to the word of the Lord Yahweh, which he spoke by Elijah. And it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick. And his sickness was so short that there was no breath left in him. You know, and that was weird on that. And it goes on, it goes on that he had healed her son. Uh, 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 Elijah had healed a son that was sick. You know, and, but the point is that the whole watch me in the house, I said, this is not going to forsake his elect. Okay. That's the point. That's the point. All right. Let's go to Numbers 23. 19. And it reads, Heavenly Father, your heart abides in your house. I am not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should, should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? Okay. And, he, and his, his words never come back empty, you know. He's going to take care of his elect. Like. Right. Isaiah 33 and 6. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy ties, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh by Shemir Hamashai is his treasure. Okay. And you have to get this knowledge, you know, before it's, it, before it's, it's gone, you know, because the, the, the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, different camps, and seeing this on social media. All of, this, all of that stuff is getting ready to disappear soon. And then you're not going to be getting this information. That's, that's why this this is this truth is not for entertainment. You know, it's only for the elect. Because if you're looking at it as entertainment, you know, it's not for you. It's not for you at all. All right, get this word while it's out there. You know. Romans. And they let have to be and once once you hear this word and it resonate with you, then you gotta you gotta do what this word requires you to do. And it's, and it's, you gotta do it to the best of your ability. Romans twelve and one. Romans 12 and 1. And it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Heavenly Father, your heart will me a homicide, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the most high Yahweh, by us in your homicide, which is your reasonable service. Okay. 
be not conformed to this world, but you transfer by renewing your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High Yahweh. For I say through the grace given to me to every man that is among you, not to think of him so more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as the Holy Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. So I had dope. I dealt to every man the measure of faith. And, and your eyes, so I, you know, you got your eyes been open. You know, that's that measure of faith he gave you. You know, faith is a gift. You know, so what did you do with that gift? You treasure that gift. You know, and you use that gift. Somebody, you know, you know nobody take that gift from you. All right. We're going to go to uh, Colossians 3. And it reads, if you, if you didn't be risen, when your heart was shy, the anointed, seek those things which are above, where your heart was shy, sit on the right hand of the Most High Yahweh. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth, but the idea that your life is here with your heart was shy and power. When Yahweh saw who was our life shall appear, then ye shall also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members, which are upon the earth, for an occasion of uncleanness, unclean, uh, cleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things seek the wrath of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. I saw your house, I come on the children of disobedience, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communications out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge. After the image of him that created him. Okay, so you got to say that keep that old man off of you and put your mind on the things that are above. Yeah, you're gonna go through some things, you know, but don't fall back. You know, you gotta keep going forward, you know, because this time is coming, it's, it, it's becoming. <laughs> Coming into some evil times, you know, very evil. Okay. Numbers And as you know, in the, in the prophecies, they don't they don't lie. Right? Numbers twenty three nineteen, the heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh so it's not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said it, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Okay. And that's going back to uh, uh, the blessings and the curses, you know. And that's universal, actually, because when you're talking about blessings and the curses, what he said about his elect, he said his elect shall eat, right? But those who are not of the elect, they're going to suffer. The disbelievers, they're going to suffer, right? That's the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Okay. Isaiah 
Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord your heart will abide from your house, I is his treasure. Okay. So wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. What time? The times is coming. The famine, the destruction, the war, death, judgment. Okay. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know? Fear of the Lord. Have a reverence for Yahweh Bash and Yahweh And when you fear, you're going to do what you're supposed to do. You know? And when he sees that, he's going to suck with you. You have to be humble. And walk in the faith, the gift that he gave. You know, and when you fear him also, you're gonna make sure you do what what is required and, and do it in a proper way. You know. Go to Romans. Romans 12, verse, verse. I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercies of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by his Holy House, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, and to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by his Holy House, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye judged, for by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. By some Yahweh's side. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of him so more highly than he ought to think. But to think soberly according as the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, so I have dwelt, had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Okay. So you got to walk into that measure that he gave you. You know, every man has a different office. But what he gave you, you got to use it. All right. Colossians 3, verse, verse. If you then be risen with Yahweh Shai, seek these things which are above where Yahweh I sit on the right hand of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father Yahweh. On to the fifth verse. Modify therefore your members which are upon the earth fornication, uncleanliness, and no affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things seek the wrath of the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh coming on the children of disobedience. And the wrath is his anger. In the which ye also walk so time when ye lived in them, but now you are, but now ye also put off all things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouths. 
Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. <coughs> and everything that I'm reading, I apply to myself first and foremost. You know, First Peter, <clears throat> July. Okay, First Peter, two. And one. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speaking. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. If so be ye have tested, if so, verse 3, if so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, verse 4, to whom coming as unto a lively son disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Simeon Yahweh, I am precious. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house in holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Yahweh's side, the anointed. Okay. So, you gotta make yourself a living sacrifice the right way by studying. Constantly reading and putting on as they look. You know. And this is an everyday thing. You know, you have to this is not just a fad. This is a way of life, a way for life, a way to live. Because we were living to die before we were brought into this. By Yahweh, by Simeon Yahweh, we had no idea, but now we know. Okay, so we got to pull out that old man every day, you know. Check it off. Uh, First Peter. Two and nine, and it reads, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people. Ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into this into his marvelous light. Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of the Heavenly Father Yahweh by us and Yahweh's side, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. So you were tame, or she gave you that by opening your eyes to this, by bringing you in. So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to teach what you've been taught. Because it's a famine coming. Food and family of the world. It's all, judgment is going on every single day. But... The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shall fear Him, repent, and do the things that you're supposed to do, which is in your scriptures. Because when that famine comes, a fool, when that famine comes of hearing the word of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shall, what you going to do then? All right? Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, side, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, and to the most high Yahweh, which is your original service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may know, that, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, side. 
For I say through grace, give it unto me, unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of him so more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according, as the heavenly father of Yahweh, by his of Yahweh, I had dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Hamashiach. And every one members one of another, having then given different according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministry, or he that teaches on teaching, or he that is sort of on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another, not sloughful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord Yahweh, by his Yahweh, sir. rejoicing in hope, patience, in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, giving to hospitality, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men, if it be possible, as such as it lies in you. Live peaceably with all men. Okay? And I'm going to go to the 21st verse. Number 12, 21st. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. You know, so. Which is true kind of virtue. Which is true comes commitment. And with this truth, no going back. If you go back, that's death to you. There's just nothing left in this world but that. So we got to keep we got to keep going. We got to keep fighting. You know, just like uh Jacob Russell angel for his blessing. That's the kind of fight we in right now. So we can't go back. We gotta be strong. We keep going. So, uh, it's just something that was on my mind. Um, and with that, again, uh, praises to your home with the house of your house side. And uh, the water to Yahweh by some Yahweh side for helping me get this out. And with that, shout out to